Hey guys, welcome back. Maris here and yes, you guessed it right. We have something awesome here. Phoenix Point. And yes, as you can see, there is a date when actually the... Hal Halo, that's how you pronounce the name, uh, of the date was released. It was on July 13. 30, 30, yes, sorry, pronunciation. And there was one and two fixes, quick fixes, just call however you want, well, actually they're called hot fixes, so anyways, we'll go through the patch notes, and yes, if you are wondering if Morris Russian guy is coming back to Phoenix Point, the answer is simple, yes, I already started from scratch, and the reason is in these patch notes, tell me what you want, but this is the moment I've been waiting, and yes, I followed the Phoenix Point and everything, and if um, right, they fix the game in the way how I think it should be fixed. So uh, let me read the reminder they are giving the warning. And oh boy, I I, I don't like that warning. But anyways, it's fair enough to say. So yes, the pronunciation of this weird name. Yes, I looked it up and I learned it. It's Alu. Kahu, okay, that's a mystical beast, anyways. Uh, game version is 1.6, and now with two hotfixes, it's 1.61, 1.62 is the latest one. And the reminder what they are saying is uh, they are advising to start new campaign because there are so huge updates where it could break the game if you load existing gameplay and trying to stuff with all the updates. And obviously my playthrough is so old, it will definitely crash as hell because I've skipped so many updates because I was not happy where the game was leading. But today I'll try to go quickly through the patch notes. And of course the first patch note was some time ago, as I mentioned, 12 days ago. Then it was in beginning of August, first hotfix and second hotfix the latest we will be going through is actually just five days old uh, before and these patch notes are on my to-do list and literally i'm I, they are waiting for me to finally get my hands on at least a week so sorry but here it is so and and what i don't like about that wise that but while 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 is uh, advising is if you have, uh, if you want to continue old save game, we recommend not updating the game. And I don't like people who do not update to the latest. Whatever glitches, bugs or something, latest is latest and that's the product you should be working with. But anyways, they are still, if someone wants to play old game, don't do it. I just went through already two times in these patch notes. This is huge. So that's my huge intro. Uh, for all what's going on and an explanation, but let's jump into the patch notes and I'll try to go through them quickly as possible. And many things where I read them, it was I was wondering how it is in action and I cannot test it because I'm starting from absolute scratch. So if mostly there are some things for, I don't know, armor or something I don't have in the game, so I can't test it. It is more theoretical and my exponent because i i know the game way some patches back so now a lot of things has changed so spending too much time on the intro but okay gyroscape phoenix base is the first base uh, at the start of the game is the only active one players need to locate and activate the rest of the phoenix base something similar reminding phoenix bases can be unlocked after researching phoenix archives fine uh Inactive Phoenix bases need to be activated by paying resources. This is something you need to pay, otherwise they are locked. Okay? That's full initiative, just not quickly discovering and that's it. Inactive bases, Phoenix bases can be revealed to be infected base upon activation. The percentage of Phoenix base being affected worry, so the base can be covered in a mist will be higher chance of uh, increased infected. Okay, the infected base will be will have Pandoran enemies and them, and I need to be cleared before they can be used. So this is something cool. The base can be taken over. That's 
jumping ahead uh, because I'm excited about this change in the game. Uh, when a satellite uplink in the base is built or repaired, it begins scanning with increased range, revealing sites as it expands. Scavenging heaven and exploration sites are located this way. So this is new, so it, it's not as before with your uh, flying with your vehicle, but it's from the base scanning. So this is also changing. I will see how I feel about it. So far, so good. When the base is attacked without soldiers or not defended, lose. The base is not destroyed. Instead, all the facilities in the base are damaged. Soldiers are not affected. As far as I understand, if it's not destroyed, it is infected. So you, this is the same scenario that we just looked. You, you need to come back and take over. So literally, you can lose and bin bases, but they are not destroyed. Awesome. Food production facilities now require fungal food production research in order to unlock it. That's good. So this is already some cool changes, but that's far from it. Let's continue. Exploration. Active scanning has been removed. As I said, flying over with your um, fl flying vehicle and then uh, scanning. No, no, we don't do that anymore here. Hmm. Reduce the number of overall sites in Geoscape. So there was, at the moment, a lot of things going on. It's a little bit less than that. Reaching, reaching a haven will reveal nearby sites. So the sites reveal them. Okay, around. Cool. Exploration is also a little bit pain. Well, quite a lot. That's moving on. Thundoran evolution. Uh, yeah, uh, down in the description, I will put timestamps for these huge parts of the patch notes so you can easily find if you want because at the bottom there's a lot of fixes and, and, and changes balances that's not that interesting anyways pandoran evolution pandoran start off without any weapon or mutation they now have their own research and evolution system that develops over the course of games remember there was a huge really bad Gameplay feeling when you started the game and you faced right away randomly generated enemies with I don't know sniper rifles uh, grenade launchers and all that and a lot of people were frustrated because that happened on Harder difficulties. It was literally unfair and impossible and really like the game That's that's when I left the game when the game was like, oh you enjoy playing me. Let's make you suffer So it's not like positive feedback. It's like the game was literally made not harder, but just fair. And that's not something any gamer would look, want to look, okay? Anyways, uh, my thoughts I already given a mo gave in the beginning. I will give at the end patch notes. Every time the Pandorans unlock a new stage in their evolution of event, on Geoscape will appear with detailed information about new developments. So this was a little bit of like, why the hell? It's kind of, they are announcing, okay, we discovered an launcher like, that should be something we reveal. But anyways, I digress. We'll see how it plays out. Number of Pandoran bases has been reduced. There is n now maximum concurrent number of each type of bases of base. Okay, so there's not overwhelming this feeling that you are losing all the time. Pandorans unlock the building of lairs and citadels through their own research. So they should start with the nest and develop similar as you like. Not you go, you go citadel, and you're like, you just start it again. So this feels like real balance. And remember, there's quite some patch notes where they really rework all the base uh, Pandoran bases in, entirely. So going through all the patch notes, don't you worry. That's that's what I'm doing, even if I'm not feeling it. So uh, I'm aware of that. But this this change, this patch actually absolutely entire one of the things, but we'll get there. Dynamic difficulty has been changed so that it affects the rate of Pandoran evolution, not the amount of enemies deployed. So yes, it's not like you're picking hard difficulty, you have your four members and yeah, here you have 40 Pandorans absolutely destroying with whole upgrades. Now, 
you develop, you upgrade, they develop, they upgrade. Harder difficulty, you will face more advanced uh, Pandorans, which previously was right away. Man, all Pandorans was already with mutations and guns and everything, so yes, please. Awesome, this is already Pandorans evol evolving kind of with you and game progresses. Absolutely amazing. We are already on the right path. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Human Population Census. ODI. I, as I call it, uh, Death Meter. That's my invention of them. ODI has been removed. So, ODI uh, was the number of how population basically is um, dealing against enemies. And when it goes full, it means you lose. It's the same principle. As I explain, and everyone will be in commenting. It's not different, okay? From gamer perspective, not deep diving in the game story and all that. It's similar as in XCOM and every other game where you have, if you allow enemy to progress too much, whatever progress means, building, developing, killing, uh, riding, shooting, whatever. But when it's going full, you do do your job, you fail. Okay, that's the simple logic. That's why I call it death meter, not ODI, which stands for whatever. I don't care what it stands for. It's old, because it was previously. It was the game was set for some period of time. It just goes goes from zero to hundred. If you are not finishing game in that given time, and easier difficulty gives you more time to do whatever you want, but at one particular point, you have to be finished the game, you have to kill and whatever you need to do in this game. Basically, it was a limited time game, and you know what? Me and gamers hate limit. The gaming world should be unlimited, as, as, as unlimited it can go. That's, that's basically the core of the game. If you put a limit, if you put like, hard stop anywhere, anywhere at all, it's kind of already shooting in your foot. There might, there is of course cases and exceptions, but we have too much going into the door. So, it is removed, OD, no more. That's the reason why I left Phoenix Point. This is the reason why I come in. <laughs> so, let me move it further. Uh, human population census has been added to, that will track and total population of humanity. All population of okay, understand. So how much people are in the world? If you do our job, there's enough people. If we fail, enemies kill them, take over, whatever, and we lose. Kind of makes sense. Protecting heavens are more important as the player has to prevent the total human population from reaching the certain threshold based on difficulty level. So again, if you do your job, you should be able to hold up and protect Earth which means there is no hard stop, which means if you do your job correctly, the threshold, keep it a threshold, you can play all the time. This is my question and this should be like that. If they just change how they put it, but nah, it should be now back in how it was before. If you do your job, if you kill the goddamn aliens and hold them off, that's it, you're done. You, you absolutely nail it and you can con continue doing that. So, reduce the total num number of haven havens in Geoscape. Yes, they were quite a lot and they're quite useless. Increase their rewards from successfully defeating havens. As I remember now, flashback from all my uh, tips and tricks, defending havens was highest priority already before. So, now they're putting kind of more uh, emphasizes and like we already knew that at least i knew that's how it should be so yes um payment facilities will break down if population gets low so if you don't defend population gets low it's not just a number of people you will get less out of this haven which makes sense which you want to get back you want population and people to survive awesome Phoenix can assist Havens by repairing their structure. So if you did your job well, there's a way to pay back by repairing it, which again is awesome. More choices, more flexibility, not like 
doomed in, in just a matter of time. So, this is some, ladies and gentlemen, tactical abilities. Now we are getting in less uh, <laughs> exciting news, but Armor Break reduced the cost from 4 willpower to 3, reduce the shred stat to 30 and shred is spread across each individual bullet. Who? Rage Burst. I've seen this a lot of people questioning what the hell is this. Cost increased from 5 to 7 willpower and function functionality reworked. Rage Burst was one of highly utilized abilities in the game. Shoot, shoot 5 times, spread across an arc with a direct fire weapon. So they reworked it already two times. Previously it was all magazine. You could totally destroy everything. Now it's cross, so it's spreading. It was still too powerful. Okay, we'll see how it turns out. Adrenaline Rush. This is the unit next turn after using it. Adrenaline Rush was one of the also overused abilities. So now you will have days after you use it. Okay, so that are like use it but don't use it see there's a lot of things i need to jump back in and test to fully capture some i'm still excited and this is great work right snapshot games good job uh rally the troops are named onslaught functionality reworked an ally with within 10 tiles recovers two action points it was previously across all the map which was kind of overkill we already knew that cool that there's a um, distance Electric reinforcements, armor bonus, longer stack. I have a video where you have more technicians just use it stacks over and basically you have so much armor, no one can kill you. So, boom, that's destroyed. Basically, all my videos are destroyed. Thank you, Snapshot Games. Anyways, uh, dash. Movement range reduced from 75 to 50%, limited to users per turn. Uh, mark of death, each hit from the attack or individual individual round individual round gets plus 10 damage instead of 50 more. Alright, so there's a flat additional damage, not just multiplying what you add. So yeah, real bother. Okay. Reckless damage reduced from 30 to 20. Reckless was melee attack. Yeah, it was well, I hated melee all over. I don't like them, but cool. Abilities balanced. I believe balanced. I haven't played. I need to see how it turns out. So, weapons. Tor AML. Reduce the damage. Why the hell there's no number? Like, reduce. You always put number from what? So, this basically, okay, this patch notes is useless. But, Gangnir. Slightly reduced accuracy and wire of age damage. Itagoras slightly reduced its accuracy. Fury reduced its damage. Ragnarok reduced its shredding stat. Raven reduced the accuracy and increased its damage. Okay, cool, cool. So some variety, I see. Uh, Jor, Jormung, Jormung. Okay, cannon that spits acid reduced its acid damage. So acid was reported as well. It was absolutely useless. Now I need to fully check, so it, it's basically I'm starting from scratch. The game is so much changed, it's from scratch. Econoclast, that's a shotgun, reduced its damage. Yeah, it was overused, that it was overpowering. Overpowered. Uh, Cyclops, SR7, slightly reduced its accuracy. Firebird, SR, slightly reduced its accuracy. Mercury increased its damage. Horror increased the damage. Deimos, slightly reduced its accuracy. Archangel increased its accuracy, accuracy range, damage, and shredding strat, uh, stat. So, Archangel boosted hell to the sky. <laughs> we need to check it out. Yara. So, some items I missed in the release and some DLCs. I heard the DLCs were quite, quite interesting. We'll see. In what we have for Varya slightly reduced its accuracy. Okay. Uh, Bulldog. Slightly increased its accuracy and shredding stat. The Scepter increased its accuracy, reduced its damage and shredding stat. Nargal's Wrath slightly increased its accuracy. Sion of Kavur 
those weapons increase its viral damage cool or um, uragan mg machine gun increased its accuracy reduced its damage and shredding stuff dragon's tooth increased its damage and bleeding it applies okay panic shock lace increased its damage and significantly increased it the shock it applies. Oh yeah, I remember that was cool thing to hit the little ones. Thena reduced its accuracy and paralyzing stat. Oh no! Oh no! It was the highest paralyzing stat, at least as I remember. Okay. Kidom Kidomos grenade increased its a area of effect radius. Now there's a huge list of backpicks. I will try to fasten it up because you know they fix some bugs they get some new bugs and that's why we have too bad how hot is coming on but okay so fix the hang when which over which shot was hit a mutog during its leap animation so again as always in snapshots some precise they, they nail down because they know what where it happened and they, they always like we fixed that one thing Oh, if something else was going on and there was another bug, that's a different story, okay? Hold your horses. Fixed animation issues. Fixed hang when used uh, fear ability. Fixed uh, hang when mindgers, mindfragers attempt to mind control soldier well with a juggernaut and bionic. So, so specific. Just fixed one of the bugs. Some. No, don't get me wrong. If you had any of these bugs, you are cited the here it's fixed it's just going through them because there's no it's it's they shouldn't be there the bugs shouldn't be there in the first place we shouldn't it fix the hang up the technician picked up the turret uh fixed issue where it, units will continue to affect by mind control um uh, fix some animation issue when throwing grenades fix animation using jet jump removed mind program ability is ex executed faster now that's something cool Remove mine for their ability. Yeah, there was some animations were super long. So they are working also some quality I don't know fastening things cool. Civilians will no longer die from fire damage after getting evacuated cool fixed an issue where skill enemies dying from bleed damage do not trigger the death animation Fix an issue where the missed sentinel didn't apply its preparing status preparing status when the enemy units was near Mist Sentinels will no longer use the Mist ability when they are dazed and paralyzed. Yeah, thank God. Fix an issue where advanced nanotech research would make units immune to acid damage type. Human enemies will now reinforce... Now have reinforcements in appropriate mission type. Awesome. Fix an issue where mind control abilities would last a single turn and on a friendly have the would last a single turn on friendly Haven Defender units, okay? Loading a save location into tactical layer will no longer restore stamina to all friendly units. Yeah, that was the long, long time ago already. And then confirmation prompt for both options in the containment section. Cool. Uh, so you don't accidentally destroy something you want to keep. Fixed an issue where the camera would focus more on the cover on the soldier's shooting while entering and step out animation okay fix any show where the standby ability could be used by unit inside vehicle fix any show where the l3 button on a gamepad didn't open the correct character information fix any show where phenoxopedia couldn't be navigated with gamepad all right all the enemies new enemy all the enemy new enemy event now shows the correct picture of forsaken infection fix an issue where there's where the Dimechev assault rifle fired half the burst during turn fire. Abilities that tr target willpower will no longer have effect on structures and units without the willpower stat. Willpower stat. Okay, makes sense. This ensure where the enemy spotted status icon would always show the assault class icon. And ret retrieving turret should now put the ready item slot instead of technician's inventory. All right, cool. Not we are releasing only PC Windows version today. The Mac version will be delayed. Cool. So as you can see, this is 13 days ago. As we received a lot of uh, views and everything, but that's not. It. Let's jump to the next quickly. Few days later, this is just finishing because 
I want you to know in what state the game is. That's the state I'm going back to Phoenix Point. Geoscape. Manufacturing adjusted the tech cost of several items in the manufacturing tab. Cool. Tactical scavenging uh, resource soldier missions reduce the total number of soldiers available from four to three. But this sounds like seriously, I have only three soldiers there. That's that. But there are so many bug fixes, even in such a quick note. We'll see. I'll show you what's the difference between patch and codec. Fix the hang when mine further attempt to mind control units you immune to mind control abilities. Fix an issue where rescuing soldiers from missions would add clones of the same soldier in the personal section. Cool. Fix an issue where the training and equipment couldn't be accessed on the deploy squad screen. Fix an issue where several quid up instances of research could be completed instantly when receiving the search points from encounter. It's a nice bank to cheat. Not anymore. Spaces that are no are not activated will no longer have the same names. Awesome, finally like the bases have surnamed. Awesome. Recruits on legend difficulty will no longer spawn without mutation bionics. Alright. I'm not tending I I'm not I didn't start on legend, I started on one above the normal, I don't recall the naming of that, but it's not the hardest, it's second hardest I started with. Legendary previously was absolute pain in the ass, okay? I don't want that experience anymore. It's pretty folder of technician units will no longer spawn in heavens without elite training facilities. Okay? That's how it should be, because these are special units for special from special three factions. Fix an issue where enemies from the pure faction would spawn without their bionics. Fix an issue where sniper is, sniper is removing more willpower than intended. Sniper is one of the best abilities. Um, fix an issue where the bonus effect from the fungal food production would appear as a string of characters in the German localization. Cool. Fix, fix an issue where uh, sorry, Phoenix base that are outside the mist will no longer display 100% chance of becoming infested. Fix an issue where bonus stats weren't show showing up on the training screen. Fix an issue where enemy units were missing some of their high level abilities. Armor breaks will... Armor breaks will... Will point cost and shred values are properly set to... 3 willpower and 30 strength, respectively. Okay? Sorry, I'm bad with words. Fix an issue where soldiers weren't generating... weren't generated with backer names. Then an option to turn this on and off on the gameplay section of the option screens. Cool! Awesome! Even more bug fixes. I like that. As you can see, 8 days from today, which means 5 days after their initial release of 1.6 which is great wait a minute there is more there is even more uh, just five days back again hotfix 2 as you can see uh, for update called um, Halu Halu that's how you pronounce it Jetscape exploration adjusted the number of sites that get revealed when arriving at payments so adjusted, we don't know. Increased, decreased, we don't know. Adjusted, okay. Bear with me. <laughs> fixed uh, bug fixes. Fixed a car when returning back to Geoscape from tactical mission after loading an auto save. Okay. Fixed a hang caused by taking control of having defender with the infiltrator class. Okay. I always want my infiltrator there. Rescue or recruit soldier can now be sent to last basis if the player had revealed more than 10. So wait, 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 what? Rescued or retreated soldier can now be sent to the last basis if the player had revealed more than more than 10 bases? There was there so many bases? Okay. Oops, I'm... Okay, sorry. Um, fixed an issue where mark for death could be used on the same target more than once. Yeah, that's that's a cool ability to have, uh, especially for skill and such. Fix an issue where recovering a vehicles would have human names 
generated for them. So, as you can see, at least it feels like bug fix. A lot of bugs are squished. And if I remember correctly, always they reveal and they have a huge list of bug fix. But when I play, there was just few that actually I've noticed. So they are, let's say, not personal, but this game, at least in my mind, it was not like buggy as hell, but like not Atlas buggy or, or Fallout 76. It was in good shape already, but these balances and changes and, and tactics and, and bases and, and how game itself, the core, how that changes, that's, that's where it gets tricky. And now I want to play hell out of it, okay? I want to play Pandorans out of it. <laughs> so yeah, five days back, sorry, huge delay, my apologies. You know, you probably following and know all this already, but if you're lazy as I am, these are all the patches. This is the latest version of Phoenix Point, which is absolutely, at least from patch note perspective, feels like this is the best time to come back to this awesome game. And yes, I'm not afraid. I said bad things before when they do bad things. Now, when they fix it, my job is my my actually honor is to say now they did good so let's praise them for doing the right thing and improving the game for us because we like this game all right passions are over i need to get back in the game and kill some pandorans and see what's going on there so thank you guys for staying with me and i will gladly report back what's going on with Phoenix Point and so that means we will meet in next videos. Cheers.